Some of you might not have known that Romanian is the official language not only of Romania, but also the Republic of Moldova. And today's poet, Victor Tsvetov, is from just outside the capital, Chisinau. He's a young poet who's already read his work at several international poetry festivals and events, and he also translates contemporary Russian poetry into Romanian. The poem I've translated of his for you is entitled What Threw Me Into Darkness. As we can guess from the title, the poem is written from the perspective of the present reflecting back on the past. The moments from the past are not necessarily in chronological order, but they're all related to a very important character, the speaker's grandmother. As I read this longer poem, keep in mind that we'll get an answer to the question, what threw me into darkness? What threw me into darkness? Grandma died of cirrhosis, like many others in the village, and some doctors quickly concluded that alcohol was to blame, that she should have laid off it a bit, without understanding that pills and shots can be more harmful. She believed in them, believed up to the last moment that they'd save her. Ten years later, the oldest son died too, my father's brother. Now everyone wonders how much their liver takes after grandma's, and who will be next. Everyone looks in the mirror in the morning before going to work and tells themselves they don't look like her, no resemblance. But that's not true, and they know it. Blind faith in medicine, the dread that there's not much time left, money saved up for the funeral. I think about her, sad that I can't talk to her. The old woman with a husband paralyzed since 86. I found her perched in a cherry tree. She'd chew up my food and lovingly scold. What did you do, pouty face? I threw a handful of dirt over the wood and that sound threw me into darkness. I cried for two days. That's about all I could do. Her favorite telenovela was still going a year later and a terrible sadness made me watch it the whole time. If only she knew that Antonio had died too, and Rosa's locked up in the house, crying over him. The poem opens with the death of the speaker's grandmother in a somewhat detached tone. The same line that informs us about her death also mentions that many others died in the same way. It's clinical, stating her diagnosis and reproducing the doctor's rather cynical discussion. The next section is slightly more personal. The grandmother dying and then the oldest son dying makes everyone in the family think about their own likelihood of dying. The image of them looking in the mirror every morning and trying to convince themselves that they don't look like her is so powerful. It's, it's their way of coping and trying to live in denial of death. We finally get an overt emotion when the speaker starts thinking about her and feels sad. As he reminisces about her with these lovely concrete details, she becomes a real person to us. In fact, so does the speaker. What threw him into darkness is the sound of throwing a handful of dirt onto her coffin, the sound of the reality of death. He cries for two days, but when he stops crying, that's far from the end of his grieving process. He's left in darkness. What seems to help him grieve is an unlikely source, watching the Spanish language soap opera his grandmother used to watch, and they were also really popular in Romania as well, these telenovelas. It makes him feel closer to her. It also dramatizes death and grieving. There's a way that grieving can feel performative, that it shouldn't be so loud or last so long, but there's no recipe for grieving. Poems like What Threw Me Into Darkness help me have patience with my own process of grieving, as well as help me empathize with the grieving process of others. Grieving is hard. 
Right now, it makes me think about someone my community back in LA recently lost due to health issues. But it especially makes me think about the most recent deaths of African Americans due to racism. Unjust deaths and the likelihood of it happening again adds a layer of complexity to grieving. Listening to the people who are grieving helps. Thanks for watching this video.